Jackson. Hey Chief, what can you tell me about uh, what happened here last night? Well, about uh, 12.30, quarter to one. Um, storm obviously rolled through town, obviously, you know, through quite a few areas. Um, but anyway, uh, as you can see from behind me, you know, the damage kind of traveled on a southwest direction um, over the top of Giant Eagle, um, through the car wash behind you, um, affecting many businesses on both sides of 306 and Mayfield. Um, going through the next plaza on the what would be the southeast corner where uh, Guido's and Convenient are, uh, caused a significant amount of damage there and then uh, continued into the woods behind that, causing some uh, broken trees, finishing up on a uh, transformer on Opelika Drive. Storm actually started a little bit further back, um, down around Mulberry and County Line area. As the storm continued to travel through, we saw a track of broken trees and uh, across roadways and stuff right on that angle. Um, so road department obviously has been busy chopping up the trees. There were some homes that were damaged um, that we're finding out obviously this morning, no reported injuries at all. And uh, right now it's all about cleanup, trying to help uh, the business owners and the residents uh, get back up on their feet, get power, make sure that uh, if they need anything from the township, we get that taken care of. Is there uh, an estimate as to how many homes have been damaged and, and where they, those are mainly located? Um, early. Uh, you know, right now I know that we have at least eight homes that have suffered some sort of damage. And they're, again, on the southeastern part of the township, uh, the ranch drive area. But again, that door-to-door -door search is going on now by our officers, kind of checking with the residents to find out uh, on the path of the storm. Um, you know, who might have suffered any damage or not. And what does, uh, with the Giant Eagle damage here, what uh, needs to be done in order for this store to, you know, to reopen and how are residents, you know, who may need things uh, from the store, you know, going to be taken care of? Today, I know the store is going to is closed. Um, I know that they are without power. Um, I know that it's going to take at least two days to get them back operational to full power. Um, how soon they can open, I know they do have refrigeration trucks being brought in that are going to help them uh, uh, you know, saves a lot of their goods that need to be taken care of. Um, but the Giant Eagle has offered already to bring water supply in for our residents. Obviously, we're in a community um, that uh, survives off of well water. Uh, when we don't have electricity, we don't have water. So they've uh, offered to provide that water to the community free of charge, uh, basically, uh, you know, on our needs. And uh, Chief, any, uh, you know, what was it, you know, is this the first time something like this has happened in the community? Well, we've had some significant storms. Uh, in 1991, we had power uh, lost power the most of the township, just about all of it, for three days. But um, as far as the tornado, obviously before my time, but uh, it's been reported to be since 1969. And is there, from talking with the uh, people, a preliminary re report? It, you think just high winds came through here? Is there a thought that a tornado, a small tornado, came through? Although no sightings, certainly the, the path of destruction that we have as far as causing the damage and the whereabouts and, and uh, as it went through the township uh, was on the southwest track. Uh, we suspect you know, that we had a tornado touchdown, but again, no official sightings that that's what caused it. And tell me, uh, obviously there's been a, a significant you know, commercial uh, damage to commercial property. Uh, how about any uh, uh, injuries to, to people? Or? No reported injuries. So the, the you know, the to be thankful, uh, you know, that the storm happened when it did, and mainly in the commercial district, uh, again, but, you know, again, affecting residents, um, is that this area of town is, there's not uh, any traffic in it at, uh, at that time of the night. So uh, all a lot of these buildings uh, and stuff are un unoccupied at that time. So no reported injuries. Terrific.